What's up, I'm Michael Rapport. Hi, I'm Dean Collins. You doing good? No, I'm not. No, 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 don't fucking come over here and talk to Bieber that way, okay? What do you mean? Fuck, man! Jesus. Why you do that shit? Can't you just do it normal? That was great, thank you, we were in sync. That was fucking good. We're doing a proper thing here because I'm so sick and tired of getting banned, shadow banned, the suspensions, the alerts, the emails from social media companies that come in the middle of the night. We have to take this down, the copyright this. I'm taking my talents to YouTube, uh, as the great LeBron James once said. What was like the longest you've been suspended on? 150 days. I, I did a 150 day bid on Facebook. That's like doing prison time. Great. That's like Bill Cosby numbers. I've done 30 day suspensions. That's nothing. I do that on my head. Okay. Uh, I've done 60 day suspensions. But when you're giving guys 150 days in the can, in the hole, in solitary, mm -hmm. I, I can't do it anymore. I can't put gold on these social media platforms that when you have gold right there, you don't accept it. It's like you're took, you're spitting on the gold. So now I take it to YouTube. Dollar Bill Cosby is out on bail, fresh out of jail, California, dreaming to quote the great Tupac Shakur. Bill Cosby is a free man, my friend. What the fuck happened? I thought this dude was he's like 100% guilty. He might be guilty. And if you say he's guilty, I didn't just say he's guilty. You did. That's racist. That I'm just going to say like right now, they're going to come for you. Dude, You're just saying that. That's racist. I'm just saying, because they're not going to get me in this cancel culture, okay? Bill Cosby is out on bail. He is a free man. And I guarantee you, his lawyers got phone calls from Gaylene Maxwell and Harvey Weinstein were all probably called the lawyer. You're fired, you f Get Bill Cosby's lawyers on the phone. I guarantee you, R. Kelly's like singing, bump and grind for his lawyers. Like, yo, I'm free. What you did for Bill, uh, do it for me. Harvey Weinstein's like, yo, I'll give you the rights to Pulp Fiction. I'll give you the entire Miramax catalog. Get me the f out of here. If you could get fucking dollar bill out. Anything's like, possible. You're racist. You said anything's possible. That means you're racist. No, dude, I'm not racist. Stop saying I'm I didn't racist. say anything's possible. That means you're racist for saying anything's possible in regards to Bill, Bill Cosby. No, it's it's like an OJ, you know? Like, I felt like I woke up. You're racist. Like, you're racist. No, racist. I'm not saying OJ and Bill Cosby. I'm saying like- Dude, I'm like, racist. You know, like, you, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to walk out the podcast interview because you're, you're calling me a racist. It's racist for you to question the fact that I'm calling you racist. And that right there, what you're doing there with the, with the, with the fuck you do, that's called white fragility. I'm, I'm drinking a smoothie. No, you're not. Yeah, you're drinking a smoothie. It's condescending. That's called white fragility. Yo, you know that last week, Dick Stain Donald Trump had a rally in Wellington, Ohio, and these lunatics, these Q-bots, these whack jobs, they think that John F. K. Jr., John John, is alive and hanging out at Trump rallies. There's this lunatic, the guy is named Vincent Fusca. Take a look at this fucking guy. If John F. K. Jr. was alive, you think he would be in Wellington, Ohio? No disrespect to Wellington, Ohio. You think that JFK John John, one of the greatest looking human beings of the last 50 years, would be hanging out with a bunch of freak shows, a bunch of insurrectionists on a Saturday in Wellington, Ohio? Look at this guy, Fusca. Does he look anything to you like John John, JFK Jr., who was one of the greatest stickmen, one of the greatest coxmen? He's in the Stickman Hall of Fame along with his father. It's the only father and son duo in the Stickman Hall of Fame. Of course, his father, uh, John F. Kennedy, and then uh, John F. Kennedy Jr., until he got married, a fantastic coxman. And then he was his life was cut short. But do you think that this guy, look at this fucking guy's teeth. Look at John John with the jawline and the nose and that beautiful mane of hair. This guy was ahead of his time in the men's grooming field. I love John John. This guy, Fusca, got a great pair of fake teeth and a terrible fucking wig. Look at John John's hair. Some of the best hair ever. Fusca, he looks like shit. He looks Have you like met John F. Kennedy Jr.? I never met John John, but I saw John John twice in New York City in the 90s. Like I saw him one time walking down the street and I saw him on his bicycle in a button up shirt with a hat backwards up Sixth Avenue. He was the prince of the city. If they think that's John F. Kennedy Jr., they would be blown away at the Elvis impersonators in Vegas. Because to me, this looks like Father Guido Sarducci. 
Father Guido Serducci has a better chance of being alive from the grave, hanging out with QAnon people than my guy, John F. Kennedy Jr. Do not disrespect the legacy of beautiful John F. Kennedy Jr. thinking he'd be hanging out with you whack jobs. I think I've seen this guy. Matter of fact, I know I've seen that guy selling DVDs on Hollywood and Vine. That's the fucking guy from Hollywood and Vine? Mm -hmm. that, that ain't JFK Jr., guys. There's a new diet mechanism I read about where they're doing that lockjaw, where it's like, yo, we're, we're tired of the cheating. We're, we're tired of you sneaking food here. We're tired of Diet Cokes there. We're tired of M&Ms when you're, you're supposed to be going to get antibiotics. We're tired of it all. We're locking your shit up. Like, there's no more playing games. It's like, oh, you're not doing the CrossFit. You said you ran three miles. We saw you at the coffee shop, okay? We saw you at Dunkin' Donuts stuffing your face. You didn't run three miles. Now we're just, we're locking your shit up. You, you know about this diet? It's called you, the lock and key. They lock your shit up. It's a real thing. That sounds like a torture device. That's kind of like akin to what they did for obesity in 1950s. I just need it locked whenever I smoke weed. But even then, I'd probably be drinking Oreo milkshakes all the time. So I'd end up gaining more than I started with. Have you been smoking on your plant-based diet? Well, I've had to try and... Uh... My man, it's just a simple question. Like, it's I, just I, you I, and me. I, it's I, just, I, yo, you ain't in therapy. It's, have you been smoking or not? So when I ask you a question, you roll your eyes up here. Again, white fragility. Don't do it again. Well, it's because you're... Eight to one. Eight to that, one. Eight to one now. I'm raising that's white fragility? Like when I ask you a question, like, I'll do it again. You can't even help it. Have you cheated on your plant-based diet? White no. guilt. I just saw it. That was white guilt right there. Dude, Dude, I'm not guilty. The epitome of white guilt. I asked you the question. Your eyes fluttered. That's called white guilt. I'm it's learning a, about this shit. It's a twitch. I don't have a... I'm not... It's a twitch in my eye. Anyway, I, I feel like a treadmill is just a better alternative to... What Fuck a treadmill. You? Some people are treadmill. Some people... You could give them gym memberships. You could get them on the uh, the bike spinning. Mm. You could get them rollerblades, uh, a, a lacrosse stick. Some right. people, you got to lock them up. Lock them up. That's it. I understand that. I'm not too far away from getting that, that key chain. It, shh, lock You're on that shit Kanye up. West, right? Yeah, through the wire. Through the wire. Yeah, that, yes. right. Hey, guys. I just want to take this chance to... Um, you know, come out today because I know a lot of people don't understand me, but I do identify as Korean and I do look Korean now. I do feel Korean. I don't identify as British, so please don't um, refer to me, any media or anyone online as British because I, I identify as Korean. That's just my culture. That's my home country. That's exactly how I look now. Um, and I also identify as Jimmy and that's my Korean name, but... Uh... What the f Yo. This guy, you should identify as fucking crazy. That's what you, your only thing you should be identifying is bat shit crazy. You're a nut job, okay? I don't care what you think you are. I don't care what you think you is. I don't care what you, my man, the only thing you should be identifying is a bed at Bellevue. This is a nut case right here. I should have done this in the 70s. I should have identified as Dr. J. I should have got myself a big fucking afro, a goatee, a couple of knee braces. Who knows where I would be? At 11, 12 years old, if I had said, I'm identifying as Dr. J. This is, this is, this is how I feel. This is what I want people to call me. Uh, 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 this is what's inside me. I'm Dr. J. If I was Dr. J, the last thing I would be doing is hanging out with you. I'm no disrespect to you. I think that maybe he should fire the plastic surgeon because I personally think he looks like more like Joan Rivers. I don't think that uh, he looks Korean. Yo, this is fun, man. We should start doing this more. I'm, yo, let's definitely start doing this more here on YouTube. For sure. For sure. Right. I'm not getting banned. I'm sick and tired of getting the videos, Jake. Let's definitely do this. I'll see you next week with this.